What's going on everyone? I am your humble commentator, Zertic. And I am bringing you an assassinate game on Hippocrates Knight. Playing as the Crusader. I really have no uh, topic of discussion today, so it'll just be me uh, hopping from gameplay to whatever comes to mind. So, just like any other commentary, I guess. <coughs> uh... I start off here by jumping in this uh, bland group because I know this guy's about to come up the stairs. And I actually lock onto the wrong sentinel here. But that's okay because he makes himself obvious. First and we'll get me some first blood. I like first blood. It's it's a good thing. It's, it's, it's good stuff. Come over hop on this little uh, perch here and jump on this champion's head. I can tell you continue killing folk hop in this blend group see if I can get the hit in cut the Cordy's legs off then her abdomen <laughs> now in assassinate my general rule of thumb when playing against noobs I do not like to get the normal this kill right here 250 kill I try to make sure Sure, every kill isn't a discreet, just a discreet kill. Try to get something with it. Acrobatic, hidden, um, grab kill. I, I always try to make every kill, you know, not the standard 250 discreet kill. So that's why I'll put myself in stupid situations to force people to, uh, to stun me first. Or to get them close to an edge to get a grab kill. Because <clears throat> uh, I like to get more than the standard kill, especially in Assassinate, and this person nice me, which totally Fs me up when I was when I threw Mute down. And I did not want to throw smoke down to, uh, you know, I didn't want to sm throw smoke down and then possibly waste it and not have any abilities when I respawn, so I just said, I'll take the honorable death. I had a good run. <clears throat> See this count here? He's going to unlock me. So, I'm going to get the free kill here. So yeah, that's a good thought process when you're playing at least against noobs. With high level players also, but it's harder to, to do so. But when you're playing noobs, try to get not the standard 250 kill. Try to stack it with something. Use the environment. You know, whatever. But yeah, this guy is going to expose me. I'm going to unlock him and then he's going to become my target. And he's not going to chase me. That's actually why I stood here a little bit on this perch. I was hoping he would come up so I could stun him, but <clears throat> he did not. So I'm going to fail jump over here and miss that ledge. I'm going to notice the uh, sentinel, so I tried to put myself in a good position to kill him. And I did. I got a pretty decent kill, 900 point kill. Here's the champion again. Again, I don't want a standard discreet kill so I try to get him to lock me first and focus grounded so yeah that's my thought process with uh, with with assassinate now with him again I didn't want to run straight at him I wanted to lure him over here and he fails free running and so that makes me throw my smoke bomb prematurely so his fail free running actually saved him. I'm just gonna try to get a hit and escape here. Now I have no idea who was in this area when I ran in here. I noticed they obviously went behind this wall, so I'm gonna walk up here and I noticed it is the champion. Now I make a stupid mistake here. I was trying to climb up the wall, the crusader just wouldn't do it. <clears throat> and the champion runs away so I lock on him expose him there's some fail free running here I'm just trying to like <laughs> circle around I guess but uh I accidentally hop on that ledge and then jump in the hay bale which screws me all up and the guy kills me so I guess I deserve that uh, acting like a moron and such
But yeah, I get a decent amount of grab kills in this game, which I love. I love grab kills. So, uh... <clears throat> That's actually what I was trying to do right there with the Sentinel, but he jumped off. So now I'm just trying to find out who locked onto me. It was this Corazon. But she throws knives at an NPC. <laughs> Which she really could have screwed me over if she threw the knives at me, but whatever. It's a lobby full of noobs. I'm gonna mute her here. Stun her. Set myself up for a very nice grab kill. Get that focus. And go on about my business. <laughs> Notice the champion there. Climb up here in Ariel. <clears throat> and that, with that, I get extreme variety. That revenge. So, uh, yeah, that's nice. It's retarded easy to get extreme variety, especially in assassinating this game, but. This is a pretty good grab kill. I wanted to drop down earlier, right here. I was trying to drop down the whole time. Uh, still got it off, which is awesome, but. <clears throat> yeah. Now I'm trying to find out who locked me. Somewhere in this direction. <clears throat> I'm always trying to mo keep moving and assassinate. You never want to be still. The way the game is played, if uh, you never, it, it doesn't really involve stealth at all. Assassinate if you want to score high, so. <clears throat> this is for the free runners and parkour lovers. So I'm going to mute this guy, give him a headbutt, go for another grab kill. Give him a kill streak. this champion is starting to jog at me so throw the smoke down <clears throat> get the stun hop in this blend group get a focus hit grounded so I get locked from the far distance it's the renegade I have no abilities but <clears throat> I want to get closer to him because I want to find a way to uh, either have him start a chase with me or corner stun him or something of that nature. Up here I see this guy, but I as I jump off I try to lock him but I miss. And I get aerialed. So that's an example of uh, moving a little too much. Sometimes you do have to slow down a little bit and analyze your uh, surroundings. <clears throat> it's a flaw of mine when I play assassinate. Uh, here I I'm not sure who it is, but I use this tree. By the looks of it, looks like it is the Vanguard. So I'm going to go after her. Then I notice the champion on the top of the roof, and I could possibly get a grab kill, get a grab kill here. But he is to the left of me. So that forces me to get an acrobatic instead. I get knifed. <coughs> and I die. I didn't know how close... Uh, any players were when I got knife so I didn't throw down the smoke immediately I, uh, I thought they were further away so could have actually got away with multiple kills if I would have thrown the smoke earlier but what can you do <laughs> here's a fail I jump forward and then I wanted to jump back or I just wanted to jump back but that's a chase breaker so it falls <laughs> so so did I still don't know who it is then I noticed this Sentinel behind me. <clears throat> Jump over to this ledge trying to smoke him and get a stun, but he climbs onto that little pillar area. <laughs> and he gets away with it. That was a pretty good move, actually. But he jumps over here. That's his, that's his mistake. I'm going to mute him and get another grab kill. God, I love these. Grab kill mania. So we got about 45 seconds left in the match. I have a very commanding lead. <clears throat> I see the doctor, and I have, a, I have some lock trouble here. Deacon's running. I didn't want to run, lock on the deacon. I'm trying to unlock the doctor. It's not happening. I just jump off, and I say, all right, I'll go chase after these assholes. 
You got the Renegade now, it's... <laughs> but uh, the Renegade's gonna get smoked and stunned by the Doctor, but the Doctor is not going to do anything. I guess because he knew I was there. I'm going to lock on the Renegade and get myself an acrobatic kill. <clears throat> I'm gonna go after this Doctor and see what he's doing. I notice he's either in the blend group or in the hay bale, so I just smoke. And the game will taunt. <clears throat> Hope you guys enjoyed that match. Hope it was entertaining. Um, fast pace of assassinate makes the game more of uh, easier to commentate. Um, I hope it was entertaining for you guys. Anyway, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the match. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.